everybody welcome back to design with me Ashley D if you are new to my channel I'm Ashley and today I am going to show you all my shopping haul from home goods one of my favorite stores and my other favorite store that starts with an H Hobby Lobby absolutely love home goods absolutely love Hobby Lobby with these two places you can never go wrong as far as finding home goods um, of course on sale and of course at a um, discounted price, right? But of course, um, that's what we're all about on this channel is finding the best deals. And uh, that's what I'm bringing to you today is um, some of the things that I found with my shopping haul uh, with these two stores. So with further ado, let's get started opening these two big boxes that I have full of home goods, <laughs> ready to show you all what I got on sale or on a budget. Here is the first, here is the first box. Like I said, it's a big box. So this box, y'all, is from Home Goods. All right, so let me just stick this on the floor. There we go. All right, y'all. So this first box is from Home Goods. So let's pull out the first thing that I ordered here. All right, so this is a very nice coffee table book. Supreme Models, love, love, love this. Great weight, can't wait to open it up and look at the beautiful pictures. Um, this one is the iconic black women who revolutionized fashion, y'all. So I'm pretty sure Tyra, Beverly, <laughs> Grace Jones and all of them should be in this book, y'all. So I'm excited to see um, what they're gonna pull out of the catalog um, for this book. Um, so. Of course, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. I'll go ahead and open it and give y'all a sneak peek inside of the book. Um, but yes, definitely I wanted to start a um, fashion. All right, we're back. We kind of got cut off for a second there. All right, so again, this is a Supreme Models book from Home Goods, and I paid $24.95 for this book, in case you were wondering. I'll go ahead and I will list the price of everything down below in the description bar if you're curious um, about how much I paid for it. Um, if the links are available, I will also um, link the items as well so you can go um, and check those items out if you want to. And with that being said, let's move on to the next thing. All right, y'all. So I purchased a lot, a lot of these light colored gray paper candle holders. I'm excited about these because I just love, you know, how plain Jane they looked with just a cute little bit of detail <laughs> with the plain Jane. Um, you know, these, you can use these for, um, you know, any time of year, for Christmas, for Easter. I mean, you can just put little decorative trinkets on it, um, you know, to fit whatever decor that you want to put. Again, I just like how, um, you know nice and basic these were <laughs> and that you could style them up or dress them down you know with anything and they could fit your decor you know for any season that you want uh to display these in i will say i'm definitely looking forward to the christmas spread <laughs> especially if um i have a uh, fireplace mantle definitely looking forward to that all right, y'all, so these are glass. Again, I loved how, you know, basic and plain Jane these are. These are heavy duty, y'all. These are the real deal right here. Um, the base is solid, so you can't stick your finger down through the bottom like you can with most um, of these glass fixtures or, or taper candle holders. Um, the candle only goes down so far, so you don't have to worry about it slipping through um, this candle holder. This is by Boston Gallery. Wow, I didn't know that. It didn't have, when I checked on it, um, the last time when I purchased, well, not the last time when I uh, purchased these and I actually looked for the um, designer of these, it did not have the designer, but this is interesting that these are by uh, the Boston Gallery. Um, so I'll definitely be linking these. Um, as far as I know, they have three sizes, but I brought the last small size. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, last time I checked, they only have the large, um, and the medium size ones left. So I'll make sure I link those below, um, for you. All right. So this one 
should be the medium, maybe? trying not to tear this too much because you know I want to keep them keep them safe all right let's see all right so these are the well are these the same size yeah okay so these are the same size so not sure which one what size those are but beautiful um I will say they're kind of like a muted gray almost clear they're clear but they're not super clear they got kind of a tinge to them like a muted gray uh tinge or tint to the candlesticks absolutely gorgeous i'm super excited about that let's get into the next one okay now if those are that size then this must be the largest one then okay so that was the medium then and this must be the largest one isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Super gorgeous. Okay, I got one more size coming. I ordered two, um, two of each size. So um, a little later on in this video, um, when I finish unpacking the box, I'll show you the other two sizes. All right. And again, I have the prices for everything down below in the description bar if you're wondering. And if um, this stuff is still available, I will also have the, uh, the links as well. All right. Now this I absolutely love from the pictures. I was not sure what to expect. But I'm happy that they wrapped it really well because I'm like, is that going to make it? Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Okay. I might have to order another one of these. This is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. This is a um, matte, I will say this is cream. Yeah, this isn't quite white, but this is more of like a matte terracotta base, right? Super beautiful, super heavy duty. Looks like it came from like RH. <laughs> Looks like it came from there. Um, super beautiful like i said i just love the fluted detail on the outside of this vase it looks super heavy duty and expensive it's heavy too y'all it's not a light vase i might have to order one more of these because i absolutely love the way that this looks i love the um top to how it curves i don't know if you can see that there we go if you could see that how it curves at the top too so inch vase y'all for 16.99 i just had to shout the price out on this because this y'all at rh at um you know cb2 and some of those other more high-end stores this will be well more than 16.99 like try 16.99 times like three or four times the price right <laughs> at those stores so glad to have come across that all right so we're rounding out the end of this box here this is the small candle holder take the candle holder i just want to show you all the sizes real quick before we move on to the hobby lobby box all right and i will say i was expecting some stuff to break y'all you know i had all this glass and fragile stuff but y'all looks like so far everything is coming one piece i'm kind of proud <laughs> The box now didn't look, look so hot, but I'm kind of happy that all the rest of this is coming one piece. Okay, so yeah, this is the smaller tapered candle, if y'all can see that. Um, so again, I did purchase all three sizes. Here is the first two, and then the largest size next to it, so you guys can see. Um, I will, towards the end of this video, show you guys what everything looks like of course on the table and everything of course i have a spread out for y'all so y'all can see uh my haul all together um i do have one more tapered candle holder um that one is the uh, largest size so um, i'll unbox that one off screen just to save a little bit of time and we're gonna go ahead and move right into the hobby lobby box okay y'all now let's move on to this hobby lobby box oh this box is super heavy just wanted to show you all this box 
Oh, it's super heavy. It's got some heavy stuff in it. Woo, that box is heavy. All right, let's get into opening this box. So, oh, let me push for it. All right, so um, with this one, I love the way that this looks. This cement holder. I will say this is a cement um, utensil holder. I guess you could plant some plants in here, but um, I plan on having um, like an outdoor grill and um, just like a little area and stuff in my uh, next house. So I saw this. The price, y'all, was phenomenal on this, so I could not pass this up. Um, it would have cost the same to DIY this. Um, by the time you buy a bag of cement, <laughs> uh, put water and get your mold that you're going to get and everything else um, to make the same kind of vase, you would have paid that same price DIY. Y'all, on this channel, um, I try to provide you guys with the, the same price that you would pay if you were to DIY it, right? So um, this would be the same price you would pay if you were to um, DIY um, or sometimes I can find a better price uh, depending on um, the time of year, the sales that are going on and things like that. So um, again, very proud of this find, very happy. Um, it looks great, looks, looks great. Um, you know, I love the imperfections in it as well, you know, that you get. So uh, with, with, when you work with cement. Oh yeah, I brought Aaliyah. Aaliyah's into Barbie now and I saw the black uh, uh, Barbie cup, thought it was super cute. Um, I love the little Barbie sunglasses and things like that that are on this cup. Um, so I'll make sure I link this one and then I'll also link um, uh, the rest of the Barbies because they do offer um, other Barbies as well in the cup. So I'll make sure I link those. Um, down in the description bar as well. If you have a little girl like me that's into Barbie and loves Barbie, um, I did um, order her um, the Barbie cup. Right. So y'all, I know y'all are gonna get on me about buying more black and white plates, but y'all know I love black and white. Hence the jacket that I have on. Um, so I ordered some more black and white plates. And um, these have a different pattern, I will say. No, they don't. They have the exact same pattern. Let me go playing. The exact same pattern. They're a little different than the other ones that I have. Let's see. Ooh, these are like my Dalmatian plates. Very pretty. Very pretty. Extremely pretty. I thought in the picture it said it had a black bottom on the bottom of it. All right, so you can eat off of these. These are dishwasher safe, um, food safe, and they're uh, microwavable. So you can microwave um, with these plates as well. Um, the other plates I have, I think they have a gold rim around it, so I can't microwave those, um, but these can definitely be stuck in the microwave. Um, I will say with Hobby Lobby this time, a lot of the stuff that I picked up was more for like outside, <laughs> outside stuff, so. Um, definitely uh have planned on using these plates um outdoors i know you guys are probably like actually you're crazy for getting um you know those um ceramic plates to uh, eat off of outside they might break but you know i just thought those would look really cute um displayed on a nice table out outdoors along with my <laughs> ceramic utensil not ceramic my cement utensil holder so I did order these, super cute. They have a nice weight to them. I think I'm gonna compare these to the ones that I got from Walmart to see which ones that I like better. Um, I'm thinking in my mind, I might like the Walmart ones better. I don't know, I'll show you guys a comparison at the end of this video. Um, this would be cute to display in my kitchen, of course. Um, I do want to have some similar colors that's in this picture in my kitchen. Um, I might change out the frame to like a gold, a gold scroll kind of frame. You know, the frames that are in now, one of the vintage joints, one of the vintage frames. So I might switch the frame out. I'm not totally sure yet, um, but I definitely love this picture. I thought it might have been just a tad bit bigger than this, 
but um honestly i'm okay with this size because this will this will be good i'll find some place for this to go in um the kitchen in my next house all right y'all so um i'm getting ready to show y'all the comparison plates of the two plates and then i'll show you an overview of my total haul um you won't see my face anymore in the video <laughs> So uh, while I'm here on the screen, I hope that you all enjoyed this video, um, got some inspiration or some ideas for some things that you can decorate with around your home and you can decorate around your home on a budget, right? And have um, your home looking all nice and designer-like. Um, if you want to, um, just let me know down in the comments below. Um, I can style a few looks together um, with the pieces that I purchased today. Um, as far as the place from Hobby Lobby, again, I'm going to do a comparison because I don't know which ones I'm going to keep. They're very similar now that I'm looking at the two. And it's almost like I brought the same plate. <laughs> Except for I think one has like a gold rim or something around it. And then the other one, of course, has that uh, plain black rim around it. Like um, like the Hobby Lobby one has that plain uh, black rim around the plate. So um, I'm going to show you all a comparison side by side. And I might put down a little caption there which one I'm going to decide to keep. Or if I'm going to decide to keep both of them, I will let you guys know. Um, in a little caption, um, once I show the plates, I'll let you guys know um, what I decided to do with the Hobby Lobby uh, plates version of the Walmart, of the Hobby Lobby version of the Walmart plates that you all saw. Um, so with that being said, um, hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, so I have the two plates side by side here. This one is from Walmart. This is the one from Hobby Lobby. The one from Hobby Lobby has a, is it black? Yeah, has a black um, edge. The reason why I'm saying it's silver because it must have been silver and they painted over it black and they might have missed a few spots <laughs> with it. So that's why it kind of looks silver at some, some points, but um, it's definitely got a black outline on it. And then this one from Walmart, and at Walmart, y'all, the plates actually feel a lot heavier um, than the ones um, from, from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby definitely feels a lot thinner than the Walmart plate. Uh, the Walmart plate, um, I love these because they have the gold ring around the plates. And um, just to show you guys a comparison uh, with the two, um, the Walmart plate looks a little bit more cream than the Hobby Lobby. The Hobby Lobby is definitely a, a bright white. Um, as far as the more luxe look or the more, shall I say, the more um, expensive looking one to me or the one that looks like it's, you know, going to last longer or just the one that's... Um, the one that has the better quality, shall I say, is definitely the Walmart ones. It's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> I mean, you tell me what you guys think. Do you think the Walmart ones, the ones that I'm pointing to right now, look the best um, as far as like quality and things on your screen? Or do you think the ones from Hobby Lobby here on the right side of your screen um, look like they have the better quality and look to be more expensive, right? Uh, to me, the ones from Walmart uh, look like they um, cost uh, more money than the ones from Hobby Lobby. Um, I will say too, um, the speckled print on the Walmart ones, you have way more speckled print or they're closer together, shall I say, than the speckled print that's on the uh, Hobby Lobby. So I probably will be returning the ones that I purchased from Hobby Lobby, y'all. Y'all, why did I purchase the exact same plate? <laughs> It's the exact same plate, pretty much. But um, these definitely feel more heavier. Um, again, I just love the way that these look versus these. Sometimes you just have to buy things and put things in perspective, you know, for yourself in order for you to make decisions. So, yeah, these are definitely going back to Hobby Lobby. Uh, let me know or comment down below, y'all, and let me know which ones y'all like better and which ones y'all think I should keep. Yeah.